Hey guys, it's Eric here from e and Guns. I don't know if it's shown in the video yet, but if you see it, it's my new mic. I'm hoping the sound is a much, much better. Hey, I'm going to talk about the great state of Idaho and some legislation that's going through our House of Representatives. Stay tuned. San Francisco did a summer thing that they're now repealing. They had 30 states they wouldn't do business with because they didn't share San Francisco's values. Well, that didn't work out for them so well, so their city council is back in session uh, revamping that. From working with or in 30 states that defy the values of the city. But the ban ended up hurting San Francisco more than the other way around. And last year, that ban ended. ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez is here with a look at how it cost San Francisco dearly. Leanne? Well, while that ban was finally lifted, what we discovered is that there are multiple other codes and conditions related to doing business with San Francisco. This is only a partial list of what is required and we only printed 25 pages of a very very long document but idaho's senate bill 1291 is looking to do in essence the same thing as to ban or bar awarding contracts to companies that want to protest fossil fuels uh, nuclear energy you know, any, any type like hydroelectric power, any of, those, any of those types of powers, it's not green. And then, of course, agriculture, you know, if you're boycotting the treatment of animals from milk and farm or from dairies and from cattle ranchers, they're not going to do business with you either. Not going to award a contract. And then they threw in the Second Amendment. <laughs> I kind of love Idaho. Good job, guys. As I said before, guys, get involved, get some skin in the game, and start local. I've joined the Idaho Second Amendment Alliance. I put the, their page on my group page. They're also on my Facebook page. But the group page, you can just basically join it and, and see what's going on here at EM Guns and what I'm. Because I share everybody's videos. When I come across like Langley Outdoors or Washington Gun Law, I, I post those on there. picture um so this is the license plate that we are looking at doing and it is the gadsden license plate um it is the don't tread on me uh this one is from virginia but there are 11 states that currently have this plate and i thought you know this is gadsden it's always been known as a kind of a gun symbol firearm safety training for secondary and primary education. Mm -hmm. And in this day and age, um, I feel that it's really important for our youth to understand gun safety, to understand guns in general. And so I felt that that would be a great area for the sales of this license plate to be able to, to go to. Okay. Um, so I borrowed that video from the Second Amendment Alliance, Greg Pruitt's the president there. Audio is a little bit tough, uh, so if you didn't apologize for that, but if you didn't catch what she was saying, I try to clean up best I can. But she is basically proposing this in the House to create funding for secondary education that would teach firearm safety. I'm all on board. There's a lot of families out there that don't have firearms, and being able to teach youth to properly handle a firearm and, and understand the five rules of gun safety is critical. I mean, a lot of accidental shootings happen because a friend comes over and there's a gun in the house and that friend doesn't have the training, this license plate would help fund that. So that's just a little bit of good news coming out of Idaho. Idaho doing it right. You know, we want to uh, not do business with people who don't share our values. <laughs> and of course, we want to train up our youth to understand gun safety, the five rules of gun safety. Really, really hope that passes through because I would love to rock that on both my vehicles. Guys, God bless you. Have a great weekend. We love you. Peace out.